you know, I mean, I don't think anybody wants to be a burden to their family, but I also think sometimes people shy away from opportunities, yeah. especially now during the holidays. And I wondered if you could shed a little bit of light onto that. Yeah, I, I would love to because that's always a really, that's always a super, super touchy topic when you talk about working your warm market, when you talk about helping your family and friends. And honestly, it depends on your outlook. I mean, because there's a lot of captive companies, a lot of companies out there in general that say, hey, and we don't do this, where, hey, write down 200 people that you know and love and then annoy the freak out of them until they buy insurance from you. That's not like, that's not my mentality or, or but I will say there's two benefits, and we're getting a little background noise if you can help me along the way, Steve. There's two benefits to working your warm market. Number one, you love them and you care about them and if something happens to them guess who's going to feel bad that we didn't help them number one it's going to be the agent so if you want to be that guy because i've had agents that, that call me and say hey dude you know what my brother hates me now because i asked him about his life insurance well dude your brother needs to grow up and you need to go you need to you need to talk to him again but Number one, if you love them or care about them, if, if, if you're that guy and you, or gal and you don't talk to your family about what you do, which is really important, which is life insurance, and then, and then a year goes by and they pass away and say it's your brother's wife or something, who, guess what? Who's going to feel bad? Not only are you going to feel horrible because you didn't do your job, but also you're going to feel horrible because guess who's going to... Guess who's going to, you know, they're, they're going to be passing the hat at the funeral when you could have taken care of it. Or let's just say it was your brother. And then your wife is, is losing about 80 grand a year of income. Guess what she's going to do? You're going to feel personally responsible. So let's put, the, let's put cells aside. The first benefit is that, hey, they're family. The second benefit is that it's low-hanging fruit. It's a chance for you to... I think it's the easiest way for an agent to help and be a service to their family and friends and make 10 grand in their first 30 days. Like most people are broke, we're, we're, you know, and, 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 and it's, it's difficult to succeed in this business. It's easy to fail. It comes down to do you love and care about your family and friends? I'm telling you what, I've never ruined a relationship because I talked to family or friend about insurance. If you believe it, if you're passionate about it, and if you're serious about it, and you actually love and have a passion for what you do, then it won't come across that you're just trying to sell your family and friends some, you know, some Avon or something. At the end of the day, you're, you know, you're, you actually have a passion for what you do. You care, and it's more, it, more important than you just, you know, selling low-hanging fruit and grabbing some commission. It's also a great way to learn the business because they're going to listen to you. So. One way to approach family and friends is you've got to have a list. You've got to know who you want to approach, but then approach them a little differently. Don't just say, hey, I'm the insurance guy. I'm an, I'm, an, I'm an insurance person now, and I'm going to come sell you insurance. No. Just say, hey, you know what? I help. I, I love what I do. I don't think I've shared it with you. I help, family and, you know, I, I help my family and friends protect their, their greatest asset. Um, I, I'm, going to, I'm going to share it with you. Because it's important, so you know, I'll, I'll I'll bring over some pizza. We'll grab some dinner. But I I'm I'm gonna review your insurance while I'm there. You love me. I love you. Like there's no reason to make this awkward. I'm gonna I'm gonna review it. If I can help you, if I can put you in a better situation, fantastic. If I can't, we got to hang out and eat dinner. So you want to do that Tuesday or Wednesday? It doesn't wow, have to be awkward. Great. I like that, Cody. That's a great low-pressure way to simply, hey, yeah, you know, I'm just going to tell you up front, this is what I do. I want to I wanna bring a pizza over. I want to visit with you. Let's just talk. If I can help you, great. If I can't, that's okay, too. Takes the pressure off them, makes it so it's not awkward, and yet it opens the door for that warm market business that you were talking about. Totally. Absolutely fantastic way of getting into that.